creating a hose extended primitive. So I'm going to go up into my command panel. I'm going to go to my geometry to extended primitives drop down menu. And I'm going to come down here and click on my object type as being a hose. Now I want to come and click and drag and I want to place it on the start of this uh, top of this box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here onto my snaps. I'm going to right click and say, oh, let's make sure that it's set to the center of the face. All right. And I'll say, OK. And so when I come down here and pick, I'll pick and I'll drag it out. I'll make the hose right here. I'm going to drag it up and I'll pick the height of the hose now and I'll pick. And um, okay, first thing I want to take a look at, here's the hose name over here, and here's its color. We can change those. And right now it's a free hose. That means it's not attached to anything in particular. So when it's a free hose, I can change the height. So I'll change the height to 50, and you can see then that now it changes that height. And when I pick on it to be bound to a, uh, an object, that pivots, then I can pick on a, something, an object on the top of it to bind it to the top of this, or I can bind it to the top of the bottom. But I'm going to fix something here first before we do that. Um, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say I want to select in place. I'm going to pick on this and I'm going to drag it and place it right on top. I don't think I had it accurately placed there. Now, I can pick on my object and I come over here to modify my object and you can see here yes we have uh, let's pick we have an object on bottom so here in the binding objects uh, now that it's bound to a certain object I can pick the bottom object so I'll come over here and I'm gonna pick on this bottom object notice now it gives me the name box one so box one is the name over here in my uh, Explorer so now that it's bound, I can come down here and look at some of my common hose parameters. It has 20, or excuse me, 45 segments. 45 segments are tessellation units or divisions in which we'll have if it's in the wireframe mode. And we can see it's kind of broken up in those many facets. I can set the flex and enable, which it's on. If it's on, I can set these parameters. So it's going to start at 10% up the height right here and it's going to end at 90 percent that's what I have 10 and 90 percent right now cycles I have five cycles going through here let's change that to 10 so you see the difference here right so there I got the height I'll say let's start the height let's start it up at 30 percent all right I'll make a change you can see the bottom now it doesn't start till 30 percent up the height let's change that back to 10 the way it was all right, so it's even, symmetrical, and I can change the diameter. Now the smoothing, I could, I could just make it faceted, and then there's no smoothing in here. I could have the smoothing set by the sides or by the segments, but most of the time we're going to leave that on. Um, the hose shape, by default it's round, and I have the diameter of the hose here, uh, which I can set in number of sides. Uh, so I can kind of go in here and say I want it to be 16 and I want 12 sides let's say and it's going to break up the sides around the top to be 12. I could come in here and say I want a rectangular hose and I can tell the width and the depth and any fillets and any segments in there or if I need a D section so the, the shape of the hose is shaped like a letter D. So all these are hoses and they're very very uh, highly configurable and uh, so this allows me to have this being renderable so this will run a render and all the light reflect off of these coils type thing so these are very configurable and this is a hose it's extended primitive and again the hoses we go over here to command panel we go to create we go to geometry go to extended primitives and we go and click on hose and we'll create a hose that has 
a link between two objects and it can react to the movement of the linked objects.